Hello fellows buds and welcome back to Logan Stone's adventure. So he's he's had a little sleep and we're ready to start the day. So I think today what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and find some basic tools so that we can actually get started and properly secure. We've still got our our friendly zombie in in one of these. Look, there we go he's in here. I don't know what I'm going to call you. I'm probably going to call him Barry. I don't know if it's a man. It sounds like a male zombie so I'm just going to leave it and Barry in there. Say hello to him every morning until he finally ends up breaking down. He'll probably be the, the downfall of us. He'll probably kill us in our sleep, but... Oh well. <laughs> I should clarify that this blockade that I've made, it is breakable. Zombies can break this, but they have to be aggroed and kind of really wanting to break into it. There is quite a few zombies there I should probably be wary of. But I think really going forward, what I'm going to want to do is blockade it up from here across. So that I've got a little bit of... A little bit of leeway either side, which I think would be be good so really guys what i want to do first of all is i'm going to want to get a few homey bits for our little base so i notice there's a few bits here for example there is a microwave i'm going to want to take that microwave there's also a fridge in here oh okay cool it has ice cream i didn't even know that right and we can pick up this mini fridge and it's only 10 weight but that means that we can actually just take this back with us we can also take the telly box with us, and although we're extremely overcome, it will be fine. <laughs> we just need to get this back to our little base and set everything up. There we go, so I've got our little telly set up here, I've got a little fridge, got a microwave, so we're all good. This fridge should work if I pop the ice cream in freezer, for example. Because we're inside, and because the electricity is still technically on in the world, this, this will still work. So we're going to want to just keep everything we've got in here. So bye bye Barry, we'll see you in a bit. So what I'm going to want to do first of all is I'm going to want to carry on exploring this area. I want to try and find a screwdriver first of all because once I get a screwdriver it will enable me to open up some of these doors because at the moment I, I can't open them, they're locked. And to, to disassemble them I need a screwdriver and a hammer. I've got a hammer back at the base but still no luck on the screwdriver front. The walkie talkie, that might be of use. There is a toilet in here, so I do have access to some water, which is always nice. Yeah, let's go in the toilet, see what's in here. Yeah, let's just drink all our drink, and then what we can do is fill up with water. What I'm probably also going to want to do while we're here is wash all our clothing, because we are bloody and disgusting, and this will just make sure that our sanity is kept. We're also going to want to wash ourselves. Lovely. So, we're all, we're all set now. If you have water on you... I think your character will slowly drink this if um, without you needing to do anything. So you you don't really need to worry about that at that point. If you have anything like a soda or something, it won't automatically drink it. So just be wary of that. If you've got water, you're you're fine basically. But just be careful if not. Yeah. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to carry this large shelf back to our base. So we've got a little bit more storage on us for the time being. I might not actually set it up itself but at least having it back at the base will mean that we've got a lot more storage with us. Barry sounds like he's having a whale of a time. Device options, we're going to want to turn you on, right down, tune into life and living. There we go, excellent. A bit early today, isn't it? I thought it started at um, 6 o'clock. Oh well, well that's just sit in our little chair and we'll gain some carpentry experience. There you go, so let's just mute, mute that for the time being. So we got a bit more carpentry experience, so we are now at level 1 carpentry. Hurrah! Uh, let's, eat, let's eat a bit of ice cream to celebrate. Don't want a huge amount, just just a little bit. Because we are overweight, we don't want weight or obese, we don't need a huge amount of food, to be honest. We can get by with the bare minimal, as long as we're not losing health points and everything through it. I'm not too worried about it, to be honest. What we'll do first of all, before anything else, I was going to wait till the morning. But I think we're going to try and raid these cars out here because I think that's something we can do without much worry about zombies, to be honest. We've got those few up there. But I'll just have a little scout out of the car park, see if there's any actually in the car park itself. It looks like we're alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly hop over this fence. A little crouch down. I'm just going to try and get into this car. Of course, we can actually access this car. Doesn't look like there's anything in here. The boot is open. You can close the boot, lock the boot, or open it and open all the doors via this. Take the twine. 
Normally nothing else on the other car seats, but it's probably worth checking just in case. Ooh, a jack is really useful. I'll take that. Plastic bag is also fairly useful because we don't have any other container at the moment for carrying anything. We need to look out for zombies if they've got anything stuck in their backs, because that's normally an indicator if they've got a screwdriver in their inventory. Doesn't look like those ones do, which is a bit of a shame. And sometimes they have bags on their backs as well, so you're going to want to look for that. Oh, that's annoying. Looks like this car is locked. Smash front right window. Right, is there anything in here that we could potentially take? Let's go to the driver's seat, see if the key's in there. Nope, let's open up all that. Right, well, we've attracted one zombie. Right, let's try and get rid of you. That's one less zombie we're going to have to deal with in the future. You have not much on us that we want. Anyway, let's check out this boot, see what we've got in here. Oh, we've got a plastic bag. We've got a spare tyre. What's the condition? 100% condition. That's really good, actually. Um, right, we need to know that that's there. It looks like we're attracting a few more zombies, so I'm going to want to quickly skedaddle. Are they following me? No, we're fine. Good. Up over this fence. What I want to do this episode, though, guys, is I want to go this way, if possible. I need to scout to see how many zombies are this way. But I think there is a warehouse over here, and I'm interested in trying to scout out that area in general, because... If it's it's not a very long walk at all, I think we could probably make it in about a minute. <laughs> so it's it's definitely worth doing. And once we're there, we could find potentially hundreds of tools, seeds, everything that we need for long term survival. All right, it's three in the morning, guys, and um, <laughs> we are we're pretty we're we're not very tired anymore. So what I'm going to want to do is I think it's probably a good time to get into a little fitness regimen because our guy is obese and. That's not good for the zombie apocalypse. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to go on to go to fitness, which is in the health tab. And you can do different stuff. So you can do squats, push-ups, sit-ups, burpees at the moment. You can do other stuff, but you need a barbell. But I think we're going to want to do some push-ups, really. Because, oh no, some squats, sorry. Because that increases our fitness when performed regularly. So let's just do... We don't want to do too much of a workout. But 30 minutes should do. Here we go. There we are. Lovely. Let's just fast forward through all of that. He will get a bit tired. Only half an hour, so he shouldn't get too badly tired. But if you do it too much, he he will he will become tired and sore. So we're gonna want to rest for a little bit. Probably only about half an hour. Because he will need to go to sleep at some point, and I don't want to have him so he rests and then gets tired before we actually need to go out on our little adventure. Right, okay. It's 5.40. I think that's about a good enough time to venture out. It's starting to get light. Barry is still banging on the door. A little bit foggy, which might work in our favour. Can't see any zombies out and about, which is good. So, head on over to his warehouse. That's how close it is. That's the car park for it. There's quite a few zombies out and about by the look of it. We'll try and skirt around them. I'm There's normally a lot of zombies, which is why I'm slightly worried. So the fog might actually be a good cover. Right, it looks like we're in the clear to get to this building. Especially. They haven't noticed us, which is good. Do they have a bag on them? <gasps> they have a duffel bag on them. That is like the best luck. Even just finding that is amazing. Right, yeah, duffel bag. Equip on our back. Oh my god, I'm so thankful. That's like the one thing I was worried we weren't going to find, and we just found it right off the bat. Right, what do you have? Do you have... You've got glasses. Uh, I don't know if we can do anything with glasses. I'll leave it for time being. First aid kit. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. That's literally got bandages, it's got plasters, that's got alcohol wipes. That's 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 amazing. This has a key in it as well, and it has gas. Only a tiny bit. And it's a and it's got a huge tank, right. Pick that key. That's a huge find, that one. Because we could potentially use that to get away if necessary. Right, let's see if we can actually get in here. I'm amazed that there aren't any zombies around already. 
see what we can find in here. We've got a dumbbell. We can actually do proper weightlifting and other exercise. That's a good find. A bit heavy, which is the only thing, but pillow would be good. We can make beds out of that. School bag. I'll take it. Right, I can hear a zombie around as well, which is a bit of a shame. Might be one actually in the building itself. I'm hoping not, but... Socks in the bin? Of, of course there's socks in the bin. We are going to want to get um, some bin bag, garbage bag as well at some point down the line. Just because we're going to need it for rain collection. So here we go, garbage bags. We're going to need a lot of them. I don't know whether you can actually find kind of packs of them. I think I've played mods where that is a thing. But whether or not it is in kind of vanilla Project Zomboid is another thing. But it looks like we have an empty warehouse without any zombies in it. Oh my god. Right. <laughs> Wood axe right off the bat. Yeah, so this has everything in it you're probably going to need. So you could actually just set up a normal base here. Fertilizer. Oh, that's good. Right, we're going to want to be a little bit careful with all the stuff we've got. Because we don't have a huge amount of carry capacity. I could chuck it into that, that van over there. I might end up having to do that. I might have to do a couple of trips back and forth for this all this stuff. Ooh, watering can. Right, we're just I'm just gonna go through all the stuff I can find, and if I find anything particularly interesting. Oh This is what I want. Trolley. This is from one of the mods I've got called Zupa Carts. So this this enables you to have a trolley so you just walk around like this. So an antique oven. That was what I actually wanted. Having an antique oven is the best thing. So they're really rare find, but you can find them in these warehouses. And that enables you to basically have a heat source that you can cook stuff on after the electricity's gone out. And it's just a wood-burning stove, basically. That's a huge find. There we go. Got it. Okay, so we've got it out of there. Okay, so we're just going to have to grab the antique oven. I think we're going to have to just chuck it into that pickup out the back. Extremely heavy. But having this back at our base is a massive find early on. Right, here we go. Chuck that in there. There we go. Cool, so let's carry on going through and I'll I'll just kind of go through everything that I find if I find anything useful. Oh, we found a zombie. He was hiding in this room. I thought I could hear one. Sneaky, sneaky zombie. Garden saw, yes please. Saw is one of the things that we need and they're incredibly useful. Tent peg again. Again, can make tents out of it, so useful for a bit later on, once we're out and about. Broccoli seeds and a sack, this is what I wanted. So having a sack means we can dig up dirt, and that means we can put dirt into our base itself. And we can start growing stuff. Having those seeds also means that we can start growing stuff. An axe, I will take the axe. I can't take the axe. <laughs> we don't have any space. Um... Okay, let's equip in primary then. And can we equip in secondary? This means we can just carry two bags on us. There we go. So we can then put other stuff like axes and things into our bags. Actually, what am I doing? Now that I've got spare hands, I can use the trolley. Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> that was the whole point of using the trolley. There we go. Right. Onto the trolley you go. Onto the trolley you go. There we go. Okay. We've now got a trolley in our hands. I love this from Zupercart. It was us just run around and have this in our hands. We can drop it um, if necessary, but this means that we can just carry huge amounts of stuff back to the base without any real, real worry about carry capacity. Because, yeah, it's got 97 carry capacity, so we're fine. Bucket, another tent peg, some rope. Another antique oven if we really want to. Maybe if we have, like, we make, like, a little, a little out-basement type thing or something just for... Maybe gardening or something. An oven can be useful in winter because it can keep the whole room clean. Um, clean. <laughs> it can keep the whole room hot enough that you can plant stuff. It is a big find, but it's not really needed. Might come back for it at some point. Nails are going to be extremely useful, so we're going to want all of them. I'm going to take the second saw. Don't really need it, but why not? There are some crates like right at the back that you're not going to be able to get to unless you break these crates. Ooh, gravel bag, mine. Um. Again, you can you can break them. There might be some really good loot in them, so it is worth doing if you've got the time, the energy, plaster powder, yes. 
That means you can make proper walls out of it. But we don't have the capacity to do that because we just, and I don't have the energy to do it right now. So keep going. Crowbar, yes. What I really want to find is a screwdriver because I still haven't found one of them. I don't know if I've got a lug wrench, but I'll take another one. I think I've already found one. Charcoal and some seeds, yep. There's a lot of paint in this warehouse. Buckets are useful though because they can collect rainwater if you leave them outside. So when when the uh, when the water shuts off, that's going to be our main way of getting getting water really. Cabbages. There are a few like types of crop that are just much better than the others. Potato and cabbages are some of them. Um, I think tomatoes are also all right. The the troublesome ones are carrots, strawberries, and uh, there's a I think a couple of others, maybe it's broccoli or something. They are a bit finickety in terms of they, they, you can overwater them if you you do water them. So yeah, you might want to leave them aside or look up a guide on how to do them. I tend to just not even bother growing them to be honest because they're just a lot of effort. But I would tend to stick with like cabbages and potatoes, and you can get by easily with just them to be honest. Potatoes last for absolutely forever in terms of storage, so. I, I recommend potatoes above everything else. Another trolley. <laughs> um, okay, can we put we put a trolley in a trolley? That that's fine. We'll uh, we'll do that. There are more warehouses. <laughs> this is kind of like the main one, but there is a significantly more up there as well. But we've already got quite a lot of loops. Still didn't have a screwdriver, which is a massive shame, really. But I think we've done pretty well out of just what we've found already. Right, are we alright for zombies? It looks like we're fine. Right, let's just chuck as much as we possibly can into the boot of this car. There we go, it's okay. So it's just the trolleys that we're going to need to leave, unfortunately, which is a shame. Yeah, so as you can see, when you're holding the trolleys, you can't actually get in. But we can always come back for them if necessary. So let's just have a little explore of these cars then, just before we go back. Fire pump, I'm glad we didn't go <laughs> straight away. That's good. Right, into the van. Got a candy cane. No key in this one. I just, I'm just looking for a screwdriver. That's all I want. And annoyingly, I'm pretty sure there would be one if I went into there. The spare battery. That's a big find. Oh, I'm very tired. What does tired do? Awareness severely reduced. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to go. I'm gonna have to come back. See if I can find a. See if I can find a screwdriver another time. There we go. Okay. Right. I normally advise taking the roads just to avoid wear and tear to the tyres and stuff, but in this case, I think it's probably worth doing it this way. You don't want to go too fast or too many revs just because that can attract more zombies. We're going to want to go carefully. Oh no, I left the key in the ignition. Okay, go, go, go. Uh, run! Okay. Not great. That's not great. I didn't actually mean to do that. Oh, that's really frustrating. Okay, they're probably going to break down that door. Oh, that's a massive shame. But we can block the door off and it, it's fine. It's not the end of the world. Oh, that was a bit stressful. Bit of a shame about the zombies, but they're just too tired. I can't really take them out like I am now. If I was any less tired, I would just take them out. I think we're going to sleep. Should be fine. Even if they come banging on the door, I should be able to take them out. Because I'm now not tired. Hopefully they haven't broken through both sets of doors. Oh, they've broken through a window and a door. Right, okay, let's try and lure them out rather than try and go through the door. Because if I get overwhelmed, they'll probably just break down that door as well. what's going on in here then yeah we don't want you breaking down that door no thank you run out the door attract them all right come on don't want you breaking down my base please I think that's all of them after this one oh, nice set of house keys apparently hmm 
oh, he had the key to this place. That zombie had the key to that, that security door. He must have been like the guard or something. Oh, that's a, that's a development. Right, just for security reasons because of that, what I'm going to want to do is we're going to want to try and block the front door with this car now. Just be, by doing this, it means that zombies shouldn't be able to get in. So if we go like this, we can have a dual system where we just have to hop out like this. And then, yeah, zombies can't get through that way. They can't get through that way. I believe they can now crawl under cars, but it's less likely to actually happen. They can still get through that window annoyingly, but it's a little bit better than it was. Right, so let's just start taking everything back to the base. I think what we're going to do is have to explore the security door tomorrow, because that's very cool that that zombie had the key. Does it work for this one as well? Oh, it does. Excellent. Okay. <laughs> so we now have access to that whole security thing, which hopefully has a screwdriver in it, which is absolutely amazing. So I think I'm going to dump all this in here, and I think I'm going to call it a day here, guys. So thanks so much for watching. If you've liked what you've seen, please leave a like and subscribe. If you've got any advice or feedback, just let me know and just comment, comment down below. Or you can find me on Discord. I've got the link in the description below, as well as Instagram, Twitter. Yeah, just everywhere. <laughs> so anyway, thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.